two political mysteries have been laid to rest. In this election, I will be running as an independent candidate. So I am going to run in the federal election as an independent candidate. After being ousted from the Liberal Party over the SNC-Lavalin affair, Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott are going at it on their own. Rumours that they may join the Green Party were laid to rest. As an independent, I will be truly free to take the guidance of the citizens of Vancouver Granville. We need political will. And who better to build political will than independent voices that aren't afraid of anybody? Philpott and Wilson Raybould were ousted from the Liberal Party in the aftermath stemming from the SNC Lavalin affair. Wilson Raybould accused the Prime Minister and others of pressuring her to help SNC Lavalin avoid prosecution on charges of bribery and fraud. Philpott stood behind Wilson Raybould and her allegations, stepping down as Treasury Board President before getting the boot from the party. But she says she wouldn't hold any grudges if re-elected. Uh, I will work with Liberals, absolutely, because we are, I feel like they are family, but I'll also work with others. Meanwhile, back in Ottawa, Green Party leader Elizabeth May reacted to the news. She had opened the door to both women joining the Greens, even offering the job as leader to Wilson Raybould. I don't fully understand their reasons, but I respect that they have said publicly they want to keep working with Greens. That we were the party, the only party that interested them as a serious option. And they, uh, in Jody's words, that we are natural allies. Wilson Raybould and Philpott's treatment by the Liberal Party has left them questioning partisan politics. Now they're promising to do things differently as independents. The overwhelming message I received was clear. Clear how we need to do politics differently. That partisanship is trumping principle, that exclusion is trumping inclusion, and the lack of diversity of voices was simply unacceptable. And there is too much power in the centre. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.